Hey, Danny SG. Uh, this is Trophy Hunter. Just wanted to uh, show you how I um, dumped everything and uh, am trying to explore all the chunk and mesh files. So, first of all, I wasn't even in the alpha of the, the game. I was actually able to go over to my friend's house because he actually got invited. So I went over there, brought a flash drive, and copied the two main folders, the data and update folder. And this is actually what it's called if you have it the had the alpha. So got this one, the data, which has, you know, of course the cast and the chunks and weapon SBTOC and all that good stuff. And then uh the update just had like a mini cast file. It's really small. So then, using Frank Elsner's script, this one, it's, uh, let's see, this dumper. I'm using. 2.7.6 and then this is what I where I have the main game and then I just told it to dump it to my ash drive in a folder I made for it and I just left all this the same it works perfectly and then it dumps out to here so then, of course, you get left with these two. And I was actually fortunate enough to have um, been able to convert everything. The audio and EBX files worked perfectly. I have the text files of the EBX and all the waves, the wave files of the sound. So. Now, there's ultra high quality stuff. Uh, music files. And the converted EBX. Uh, I think we want to go. Go animations. Of course, you got the weapon skeleton. And it's. I guess it's got 40, 44 bones. Well, let's just get to the main bit of what I want to try to show you and hopefully, like, be able to give you just like the main data files so that you can then dump it yourself because believe me this I think how large is this minus the audio of course it's gonna be probably way over 15 gigabytes so it's way too much the main game uh, undumped is I think six so I could upload that but anyways so I've been trying to open up the weapons, which I've been able to do. I've gotten most of them. And I was able to have it locate the junk files using your script. And I'll show you that this does, in fact, work. So, like uh, you showed in your video, you scroll down, it's a little bit farther down in this, but here's the VB size. It's 36. This one. Alright, so change the VB size to 36. Open up DH 
17, Chunk File. Now it's Chunk File. And then of course search for those, for this value. The only problem using this method is that I have not been able to get the UVs from this actual mesh, which is unfortunate, which basically means that I have to re-UV map it, and then if I want, I have to texture it, which would take a very long time. show you what I've done to your your mesh management tool all I've done was change how far along it's looking I changed the battlefield 3 1 pushed it to 244 and as you can see in here the name which you believe starts here pull up my yeah put it in here no. where did I put it? not here I just made myself some values that's good so I can kind of make it easy on myself so that's 16 across so then down to here which starts 240 so then 241 242 243 244 and that's when it reads the name normally it's up like in here. It's a little bit farther down for the Star Wars meshes. If I was to compare and grab the first person, which is this, I think this is where the name starts which is in the same spot, is it not? I think it's in the same spot. Dang it. Yeah, it's in the same spot. Four spaces on, yep. So I couldn't find the chunk file for the first person one for this particular model. Oh 
And then of course 3ds max doesn't like the obj's that that one program makes so i had to import it with uh no noesis i believe it is Try to import it. Get error. Open up this. That's what I use. This is like the Imperial Blaster. Just export it as FBX. And there it is. But of course, the VWs aren't mapped. It looks like they are. You can see where it's can see where it's been peeled although in here get nothing just goes infinitely and you can't find the texture or the TVW And then, <clears throat> and then for some reason, all the textures aren't actually named textures. Like, see how it's just called file? I don't know how similar or different. Let's see, color. Just open up this one. Um not sure how different this is actually let me see compared to like battlefield 4 ones the eye texture uh, let's grab a91 this okay so this one is one longer looks like it's one bit longer hmm. you can see that the information is different quite different uh, so in this which is the DH17 looks like I have been trying to get your if this is your eye texture tool I've been looking through the code I I haven't spent a long time but it is yours not too familiar with this if you could help me out and maybe taking a look at like you could help me out taking a look at this as opposed to battlefield 4 I the Battlefield 4's eye texture maybe you'd be able to tell me what I need to change inside that program 
and then it might work. And then of course, what we could change to your script here to get it to import the the mesh file with a proper UVW map. Like I tried to change a couple of values. Like I was paying attention to these. But yeah, I'm not sure how you're your script works. I'm not the best person with scripts. I'm more of a, uh, I like the texture. I'm a texture person. And I'm also trying to learn 3ds Max, but I'm still learning. I'm pretty new. I was actually able to make this mod for GTA 5 with the MTAR. It's my favorite gun. <laughs> And if you're interested, check, check out the video I made. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty much like this mod is all thanks to you. This, this MTAR is from my copy of Battlefield 4, so. I'd really appreciate it if you could lend your knowledge on this sort of thing. And I hope that you'd be able to update your script and such for... Star Wars Battlefront. It's kind of cool to get a little bit ahead of the curve before the game even technically comes out. Hopefully they don't change anything. I wouldn't imagine they would. But, um, alright. 